Welcome back to another Absolute News with the Hockey Coach Guru, Coach Frenchy for the Hockey National Show. Episode number 34. We have a lot inside this episode. So don't go nowhere. You know the drill. Please click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey National Live Show, and of course, sharing this video. And at the end, Below this video, give me your comments. Tell me what you think about the episode number 34. Talking about 34, let's talk about where we have Joshua Roy debut as a hockey professional. Who can make the roster for the Montreal Canadiens? Kulak Shariat, can they return with Montreal? We talk about the NHL prospect. Today, it's Tristan Luno. Finally, we're going to give you some update for the Laval Rocket and, of course, uh, the NHL Playoff 2022. Here we go. Joshua Rua started his career yesterday with the Laval Rocket. It was his first game with them. Played one game. Unfortunately, the American Hockey League does not give us the TOI of the each players. And he had three shots on the net. Great play on the 2-1. I'll be honest with you. I was really impressed the way Rua played for his first game with the Laval Rocket. That opened me to thinking hey, this guy could be a real, a real deal a play in NHL for the Montreal Canadian in the next 12 to 24 a month. Glad to share with you about Joshua Roy. The next one I want to talk, guys, is the, the roster for 2022-2023. Chris Whiteman just signed a new contract a couple of days ago. That's for me, gave Montreal now to not do anything with William Legasson, Glade Glagu. I believe both of them will be out of the roster for the Montreal. That opened a couple of spots on the defense for the Montreal Canadiens. We know Baron, Shenemann, Niku, Aris all play with the Montreal Canadiens at some time of the year. Can they return with the Montreal Canadiens? I guarantee Baron is in the lineup for next year. I'm not sure about Shenemann and Niku and also Aris. And now we have to add in this Cooley and Norlander. I still believe... On the left defenseman, you have Romanov, Edmondson. The rest is open up for a third and a fourth left defenseman. Two of them, I mentioned to you, is going to be with a Montreal Canadian next year as a left defenseman. And we know behind P3 at that moment is Savard and Whiteman. Justin Barron should be the right defenseman for the Montreal Canadian. As a forward, you have only two players I can mention right now for the Laval Rocket can maybe make the roster for the Montreal Canadian a Jesse Allen have a great year with the Laval Rocket Cup play a couple of games like Pinal for the Montreal Canadian last year can Pinal go through this roster I'm not sure but I, I don't know why not to see Allen with a roster for the Montreal Canadian just an open door guys to share me with you who could be with the roster next year with the Montreal the next one I want to talk about the conversations starting to get a little bit hot about the fact both players got eliminated. Second round for uh, Chariot. Look like he's not returning with the Flyer Panthers. Kulak just got eliminated a couple of days ago. Already um, talk about the fact like he would not be against to return with the Montreal Canadian. Can the Montreal Canadian open the door for both of them and how, what it will be the cost of the both players? We know Chariot carry on a, a contract um, at $4 million and Kulak at $1.8 so it would be interesting if one of the two can return. My question to you is, would you like to have both of them, one of them, or not at all, and focus more on the development of Cooley, Arias, Shoneman, and a possible Norlander for the Montreal Canadiens as a left defenseman? Today, for the Prospect NHL Draft 2022, we talk about Tristan Luno. Uh, Luno uh, is a, a defenseman, right defenseman, 6'2", 135, born in 12 years in Quebec, played for the Ketsno and the QM. Uh, Ketsno have a really good team uh, this season. Look, like I do every single day, I don't want to talk about each one of them, about all the, the comments about both, but what is really get out of him is really his skating, really fluid skating. Also, he's intelligent to two-way defender. Uh, he, he showed a bit more offensive last year. He scored 12 goals and 63 games, and uh, also 43 points. He's skating 74, shooting 77, his hands 73, IQ 78, 
physically at 74, defensively 76. Pretty even on each department of categories. You can look for uh, one year scout applause. I really impressed about uh, Tristan Luno. Like I mentioned, there's a big 6-2 over there. His strength for me is a two-way center. And I apologize, it's not center. I should put is a two-way defender. And his accurate vision is excellent. He need to he need to is a great Sir Puck. He, he passed the puck very well on power play as a quarterback. He have a great pass on the breakout on the defensive zone. He can carry on the puck also because he have a, an excellent skating. Under construction, I put the word skating because you need explosion. I think he did not have that kind of start. Boom, 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 right away. But after he's already start, he can fluing, uh, fluted very well with the skating. His stride is pretty great on his mechanic. Uh, Defense zone coverage a bit have to get better, but this is all about usually every single uh, player at, at this young age. Uh, this is all about the Tristan. I will remove myself here. He explained what it looked like. This is coming from the Atlantic uh, website. I want to share it with you. You can read about him, pause the video, and you can see more about uh, Tristan, you know, for the Montreal Canadiens. Could have an impact with them if they select him. Uh, he could be available, guys, between 23rd and 35, 36. Most of experts on the scouting draft NHL, select him around 30, 27 to 35. Don't be surprised, it's going to be a selection. Montreal have two picks, 26, 33. Can they select another right defenseman? That will be something we have to follow up. But um, I think it could be a great asset for the Montreal Canadiens for their future. The next one I want to talk about, guys, is the Laval Rocket. Of us yesterday, they lost a game 6-3. A lot of bad penalty for the Laval Rocket. Uh, they took about like 7-8. And uh, William Bidden, ex-Minnesota uh, Wild prospect, scored four goals for the Springfield. And they take the lead right now on the series of best of seven by a uh, 2-1. Next game will be uh, tomorrow night. A Laval at the Place Bell again at 7 o'clock. Uh, NHL Playoff 2022, third round. We are back now, uh, live streaming, play-by-play -play with Hockey Coach Joel Code Frenchy. Game number five uh, between the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the New York Rangers at the Madison Square Garden and the Big Apple. The series is even 2-2. Two -two. We'll see if the Rangers now can, can, can bounce back after the last two games in Tampa Bay. And, of course, the Colorado Avalanche right now at home, relaxed, waiting for the winner of this series to play the Stanley Cup Final 2022. Tomorrow, episode number 35, we're going to look about another NHL prospect profile. Sometimes we put videos, sometimes we don't. And then the abs next captain will be my suggest to you uh, to you guys. Who's going to be the next captain for the Montreal Canadian? Guys, this complete another episode number 34. We talk a lot about fun subject today. Please, before we leave, we want to remind you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe, and of course, sharing. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the episode 34. One may be a subject you enjoy, and I will definitely reply to you. But, of course, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody. I can't wait to see you for the next video of the Abs Daily News.